All right, so you have terrible sugar cravings and you're not on keto, get on keto. If you're new to my channel, very simply, click the link down below and it'll show you exactly what to do with the keto plan. That will get rid of your sugar cravings. But let's say you're on keto and you have terrible sugar cravings. That means there's something seriously wrong because the way that you know you're in ketosis, which ketones are the byproduct of fat burning, is that your cravings go away and you're no longer hungry. So there's a couple things that could be going on. If you're on certain medications, for example, like prednisone or anti-inflammatory or anti-depression medication or antibiotics, these can all increase cravings because they worsen your blood sugars. Also, if you're under a lot of stress, that can do it as well. Or you had lack of sleep. Or even if you had an injury, that can increase cravings. I'll give you an example. I was uh, riding my bike up a bridge and the pedal actually jammed. I went over the handlebars. I landed on my elbow. I actually fractured my elbow in 30 different pieces. And what was interesting, well, it wasn't interesting. It was very, very painful. But what was interesting about it is I started craving sugar very quick. Like I just needed some sugar because it dropped my blood sugars. It crashed it way, way down because in the spike of cortisol, which is a stress hormone, it just went up and my blood sugars went down. All right, so let's take a look at potentially what you might be doing incorrectly. So the first question is, are you keeping your carbs between 20 and 50 grams? Maybe you should start counting them and measuring them. But here's some mistakes about this 20 to 50 grams. You are allowing carbs that are very high in the glycemic index, like straight sugar or dextrose or maltodextrin. You don't want to do that. You want to avoid all carbs. When we actually are talking about 20 to 50 grams of carbs, we're talking about not sugar carbs. We're talking about because you should avoid all those completely. We're talking about like the carbs from berries, the carbs from nuts, which are small amounts. That's the type of carbs we're talking about. Maybe the carbs that are in uh, hummus, for example, but not vegetables. So if you're consuming carbs that are high in the glycemic index, like sugar and things like that, yet it's still within this range, you're not going to get in ketosis because it's going to keep elevating your um, insulin which is going to keep you from tapping in the fat. All right, second problem is you're eating too frequently. You're not doing fasting. You might be snacking in between the meals. Remember, eating makes you hungry. So the goal is to eat nothing to go longer. Sometimes a little apple cider vinegar and water will help reduce hunger. That's a little tip there. But whatever you're doing as far as the frequency of meals, you will need to make it longer. And the way that you do that is you add more fat to the meal to go longer. That's going to drop insulin and it's going to get you into ketosis more. And the more ketosis that you're in, the less the cravings. This should happen within three days. If you have very severe blood sugar issues, it could take up to five days. But it will happen if you keep the carbs down and you fast longer. And I'm talking about like two meals a day. That would be perfect. Like maybe your first meal is at 12 and your next one is at 6 you should be fine. The last thing, and I think this is very important as well, consuming enough vegetables. So a lot of times when people are on keto, it says to do low carb and vegetables are a carb. So I'm just going to cut those out. Or they might just have like one little tiny cup. Well, in these vegetables, you have some key nutrients, a lot of nutrients. You have potassium, you have magnesium, and plus the fiber from the vegetable is fed to the microbe in your gut, which then releases something called butyrate. And butyrate is very helpful in balancing your blood sugars and giving your cells energy. So you'll find that if you include this right here, it's going to be a lot easier. You're going to be less hungry. You're going to be more satisfied and definitely less cravings. Because even when you take potassium, magnesium, that alone decreases sugar cravings. Now, the last point I want to bring up is very important. When you do keto without doing intermittent fasting, let's say you're 
having snacks with the meal, but it's keto friendly, I found that you don't really see the benefits many times. You might not lose hardly any weight. Why? Because every time you eat, you stimulate insulin and we're trying to keep insulin lower. So I highly recommend you don't do that. You do keto with fasting. And then some other people do fasting, but they eat whatever they want. Okay, so that's not good either because if you're eating junk food, sugar, high carbs, that is going to reduce your ability to see the benefits from fasting greatly. Okay, so you want to do them both together. All right, so those solutions should fix your cravings. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.